But let's get to our next management. Then, uh, card and reach ship buildings. Well, that's the one on our radar. It was a rather good quarter for the company, mind you. Their margins have expanded sequentially as well as on a year-on-year -year basis. And the other income has aided the profitability as well. We have Mr. P.R. Hari, the chairman and managing director at the company who joins us on the show. Hi, good morning, sir. Thanks so much uh, for joining in. Well, give us a few numbers. Uh, then it's a good start, first of all, to the year. So tell us, what kind of an execution plan do you have this year? What could revenues look like by the end of this year? Margin outlook, as well as an update on what is the latest order book number? Uh, thank you, Nigel. As you said, uh, the start of the year has been very encouraging. The Q1 results have been very positive with our both revenue from operations and the profit after tax uh, touching new heights. Actually, the best ever in the performance of the in the history of the company. 30% uh, increase in revenue from operations and 54% increase in the profit after tax. Now, even as you rightly mentioned, even the margins have gone up. What we are very confident is that uh, considering the present project execution phase, we will be able to maintain the tempo in the coming quarters too. Uh, that is our assessment with respect to the performance, uh, financial performance in the current year. We are very confident of maintaining the tempo. We have got a good start. We intend maintaining the tempo. As far as the order book position is concerned, we stand at a very good uh, 24,456 uh, crores. This is our current order book. Uh, four projects for the Indian Navy, comprising of 19 warships, and two more projects, one for the government of Bangladesh and one for the government of West Bengal. This is our current order book position. And the naval order book comprises of uh, three P-17 Alpha stealth frigates. And uh, this is our uh, big ticket item. And in this project, we have almost uh, 13,745 crores remaining for execution. Uh, Mr. Hari, just one quick question. I believe your 20, 23 yards, they're fully utilized. So you're resorting to so some subcontracting. Could you clarify on that point? And also, will that have an impact on margins? Uh, yes, uh, as part of our business strategy, uh, we have been resorting to a certain amount of subcontracting. That is a part construction of ships. And uh, in some cases, uh, certain blocks, hull blocks have been subcontracted. And this is, as I mentioned, it's a part of a business strategy to utilize, one, the spare capacity of competent uh, shipyards, and also to facilitate uh, concurrent construction. To answer your question regarding margins, it has got zero effect on the margins. Mr. Hari, uh, hi, good morning. <clears throat> uh, Prashant, this side. Could you, uh, could you tell us what is the uh, inflow, order inflow uh, going to look like? Uh, are you expecting any uh, large orders at the end of the th uh, at the end of March? Your order book was twenty five thousand crores. You said it's about twenty four five hundred now. Uh, what should we expect, sir, in the remaining three quarters? Thank you, Prashant. Uh, uh, during this quarter, uh, while we have executed, uh, as you have seen, around uh, seven hundred and fifty crores, we also got a, a two fifty crore order uh, from the Indian Navy for manufacture of uh, 30 mm naval uh, standard guns. Uh, so this is what has added and stabilized our order book. Now, we are expecting from the Indian Coast Guard, we all already submitted our bids. Three projects, uh, the bid is, I mean, the L1 is likely to be declared in a couple of months. So this total value comes to almost uh, uh, 4,000 crores. In addition to this, uh, Navy is likely to come up with uh, RFPs for uh, two in number multipurpose vessels and also for five next generation survey vessels. Of course, both these projects, it is unlikely, unlikely that the orders will fructify in the current financial year, but we are very confident that all the three Coast Guard projects, the orders will fructify and we stand a very good chance of winning these orders. So our overall target would be to maintain plus 24,000 crores at the end of the current financial year. Okay, uh, Mr. Hari, very quickly, um, post Q4, in your conference call, you said we expect to touch the peak revenue generation during the coming three years, FI 24, 25, 26. Now, there are some concerns that your order book will exhaust by FI 27. Can you talk about, you know, in this current order book of, you know, 24,500 crore, how much of it will be exhausted in 24, 25, 26? And what about thereafter in the, you know, RFQs that you have? Uh, thank you, Rima. Now, uh, yes, I had mentioned that the peak uh, revenue generating years will be uh, 
24, 25, and 26, bang on, and we are right on the target. As you can, it is very evident that uh, in uh, FY23, our uh, revenue from operations were 2561. In the first quarter, Q1 of 24, we already touched 756 crores. We expect the peak revenue in 2024-25. Uh, now, coming to the order execution uh, plan, uh, we have right now around 24,500 crores, and we expect to deliver two P17 Alpha. They are our biggest revenue earners during FI25 and FI26. Uh, there, the order book value remaining is around 13,500 odd uh, crores. As this order book uh, depletes, as I had mentioned, more orders are on the anvil. See, Coast Guard and Navy, both these forces put together, there is almost, uh, in the, I'm not telling in this financial year, but over the next three financial years, almost a lakh plus crores order book on the anvil. And uh, there are about six uh, shipyards, which are seriously, com the serious competitors are around six shipyards. Four of us, that is uh, four defense shipyards, plus Cochin shipyard, plus LNT. So there is enough on the plate for all of us to grab. So we see as these order book gets executed and depletes, more orders will come in. So we'll be able to maintain the tempo of revenue from operations definitely for the next three years and beyond. That is our confidence level. Oh. Uh, Mr. Hari, unfortunately, we're out of time. Thank you very much for joining, joining in and wish you a happy Independence Day. Let's uh, get to